we're going to get him to do some backing vocals on this very first song that we're going to do. We're going to, I'm going to just take you through briefly, if someone shows, I'm going to do six numbers from Mrs. Claus. I'm going to break it up a little bit and do an interview with everybody to talk about it. But um, the, uh, the whole basic story of this is that uh, Mrs. Claus is underappreciated at the North Pole. Um, Santa takes her for granted. He doesn't take her on the sleigh anymore. He doesn't even let her look after the naughty and nice list anymore. She's just sitting there baking all the time, baking cookies. But they're the best cookies in the world, and they actually have the spirit of Christmas inside them. But unfortunately, one Christmas Eve, when Santa comes back after having delivered all the presents, um, he's had an accident at Park Royal Mall, and he's got the suit all dirty. Uh, so he's given it to one of the elves to take out Mrs. Claus, and she rummages through the pockets like you do before you're going to wash it, keeping your reds and your whites separate. Um, and inside one of the pockets, she finds the wrapper of a cookie from an industrial cookie firm. And that makes her sing this year. <laughs> and that makes her sing this song. Yeah. 
two and I'm eight, just a boy. And now I'm at home in the yard and my snow fort is incredible. Daddy next door will never defeat me. Um, 
Mrs. Claus pays a visit to the uh, Lapdanavian cookie factory, uh, where they've outsourced the cookies to, and they meet Bjorn, um, the chief elf, um, played by me, um, who uh, explains uh, how happy the Lapdanavian elves are um, with uh, the, the, uh, the cookies coming to Lapdanavia. So it was a little something like this. It's hard.
go on from there, Mrs. Claus decides that, that she's going to have a moment where she really trusts her own recipe. And so she sings a big kind of gospel song about it. So this is my own recipe, and it sounds like this. Thank you. 